We got dispatched to a shop fire, and uh, when we got on scene, uh, the roof was already collapsed, it was fully engulfed. So uh, strictly a defensive fire. Our main concern, obviously, was the house. So uh, that's not a problem anymore. But uh, there's, it's a paint shop, so there's paint in there, and there's uh, a lot of paper and wood and lots of combustible material. I would say complete loss. Yeah. Well, now it's overhaul, and uh, this is one of those structures that was built uh, probably 30, 40 years ago. And the lumber they used then, uh, you can see the integrity of the building, it's still standing. So there's going to be a lot of work to, uh, to knock it down completely and remove some of the debris. Uh, I have no idea what we have inside, so we'll be here for a couple hours. I looked at the window and I saw this orange glow outside. And and I thought somebody was here with a truck, with the truck flashers going, you know. And, and, but then I looked outside, I couldn't see a vehicle, and I opened the door and I saw flames rolling out of the shop overhead door. And, and at that point I realized it was gone, you know. So my son called the fire department. And, well, I do sign painting in the shop and uh, some woodworking and stuff like that. And my, it was my life livelihood, so. How many years have you been doing that? 52. What are your thoughts now? Is there ripping your shop apart? Well, I'm thinking that it could have been a better day. <laughs> but what are you going to do? It's happened. It's, ha it's, you know, it's not much you can do. I won't rebuild. So, so what are you going to do from here? I have no idea. You got a op job opening for me? Or I <laughs> no, I have. I really don't know. I haven't thought that far. I'm just glad they... They uh, caught the house, so it didn't, the house didn't go down, you know. And maybe I can salvage something out of the shop, I don't know. But it looks to be pretty much toast.